Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Wonder Swan, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 3 emulation with RPCS3. And RPCS3 just got a massive update. Version 0.0.27 just released, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And by a whole bunch of stuff, I mean a whole bunch of stuff. We've covered some of this stuff in previous videos, but this is a pretty big release. So aside from brand new stuff like output scaling filtering options and a rudimentary home menu, there's also been a whole bunch of bug fixes and performance improvements. I mean, if we compare the number since the last release to this release, we've got the old release on the bottom and we've got the brand new one on the top. They've tested an additional 300 games and almost 200 of those are playable. So overall, out of 3,707 games that have been tested, 67.73 of them are listed as playable. If you wanted to check out the compatibility tracker, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And for those of you who may not be aware, RPCS3 is free. It's open source. It's available right on their website. I'll drop a link to that in the description below as well. At the time of filming, the latest build here is version 0.0.27-14785. And speaking about game compatibility, next up we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation with FPPS4. As of February of this year, FPPS4 has tested out 1,232 PS4 games. And out of the 1,232 PS4 games, 83 of those games are playable. None of them are AAA games considering this emulator is still in early stages of development, but this is nice progress. Big thanks to Elon for that graphic, and if you wanted to check out the compatibility list on your own, you absolutely can. It's available on GitHub and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Or you can subscribe and I might keep you updated. I mean, RPCS3 and FPPS4 stand for subscribe to Mr. Sujano. So there's that. And speaking about subscribing to Mr. Sujano, next up here we're talking about Nintendo DS emulation on Android with Melon DS. And Melon DS is about to get a really cool new feature. And this new feature is Retro Achievements, which I'm really excited about. If you wanted to test it out, you absolutely can. It's currently in testing, but you will have to pick up a nightly release and you will need a GitHub account in order to download the APK. And you'll also need a Retro Achievements account to link up to it. And for those of you who would just rather wait for this to hit the Google Play Store, I don't think you're gonna be waiting too long at all. As far as I know, testing is going well. But as soon as I know more, you'll know more. Next up, this is just a rumor, but if you're a fan of Ori and the Blind Forest, you might be excited to know that Ori 3 might be in development. But you also might be concerned when you hear Moon Studios might not be the one developing the game. Moon Studios did make Ori 1 and Ori 2, but they are currently making an RPG that isn't Ori. And Microsoft owns the rights to this game, so maybe they're using a different studio altogether. Moving on, and if you've got a modded Nintendo DS, you might be excited to know that WonderSwan emulator Nitro Swan just released version 0.5.0. This is the first release of this emulator in 2023. The last update was in August of 2022. We've got a whole bunch of bug fixes, some optimization on the CPU core, and also a brand new debug menu. If you are curious about this one, it's free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And speaking about free and open source, next up we're talking about LibreOffice, and LibreOffice just got a brand new release. Version 7.5 just released a little while back, and we've already got version 7.5.1. The big changes include a whole bunch of bug fixes and a toggle switch to switch this from light mode to dark mode. And last up here, if you're using Linux and you've got the GNOME desktop environment, like I do considering I'm using Pop! OS, well there's a brand new app that you might be a fan of. It's called Sticky Notes. It's free, it's open source, and it's on Flathub. It is worth pointing out that this is just a beta release, so there may be some bugs and issues with it, but I am extremely excited. And you know you're getting old when you're extremely excited about a Sticky Notes app to help you remember things. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.